Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install Lux Perms as well as give a general overview of it. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin page. I'll link it in the description. Click the download button and wait for it to download. Once downloaded, head over to your control panel, go to files and into your plugins folder. Upload the plugin to the folder just like so. Now that we're done with that, restart your server so that the plugin can generate the appropriate configs. For most people, LuckPerms works without changing anything in the config. If you want to change something, the config itself is exceptionally commented and explains everything very well. For example, if you wanted to create a bungee cord network in the future and want server specific permissions, you'd want to change this option here to something like survival, if you're going to be making a survival server of course. This can be anything you want as it's just a name. I'm going to leave it as it is because I'm not going to create a bungee cord network. Another thing you might want to do is change the storage method and if you're running Bungie, you'd want to use SQL database such as MySQL. I'm going to keep it as default. Another little thing you might want to change is this option here to false. This prevents players being messaged twice about log entries as you can see from the comment above. You can read through this whole config yourself and make necessary changes. If you're having issues, make sure to read the plugin page and the wiki or even join the discord group to get help. Or, of course, contact our support team. I will go over two methods of how to use this plugin. One is via commands and the other is via a web editor where most of the work will be done. But to get started, you'll have to do things in-game first. First of all, in-game, when I type in slash LP, you'll see that I'll get a message which tells us to run a command in the console. Let's go ahead and do that. This will basically give us all permissions that LockPerms has to offer, meaning I can use the plugin fully without any restrictions. Then what we'll do is create some groups, since the only one we have right now is the default group, which of course is created by default. Now if you type slash LP help, it will show you the commands and if you scroll over them with your mouse, it will give you more information about them. Let's make a new group. To do this, type slash LP create group and then the group name. I'll write member. I'm also going to create another group called owner. Now that we have those, let's give them a prefix. A prefix is something that goes before the display name. Before we do that, make sure to have some sort of plugin to display the prefixes. I'll be using Essentials Chat. Let me quickly go and install that. If you don't know how to install Essentials, as well as Essentials Chat, click the eye in the top right corner as we have a tutorial for you. Now that I have it installed, type slash LP group, then the group name, then meta, add prefix, and then the priority number. And finally, your prefix surrounded in double quotes. You can also use Minecraft color codes. Let me just quickly add prefixes for the rest of the groups. The priority number is there so that if you're in more than one group and both groups have a prefix, the prefix with the highest priority number will show. So if I give a member group a higher prefix priority than the owner group and I'm in both groups, it will show me the member one instead of the owner one. Suffixes can also be set just by changing the prefix to the suffix. The rest of the command is the same. To give a certain permission to a group, type slash LP group, then the group name, permission set, and then the permission node. Because I have Essentials installed, I'll just give the default group the Essentials fly command, just as an example. You can also give permissions to users just by writing slash LP user and then the username instead, with the rest of the command being the same, as you can see here. Now that's the basic commands, now let me show you a second method of doing things with the plugin. If you want to know more about in-game commands, just visit the LuckPerms wiki page and everything should be there. A very handy feature of this plugin is being able to use the web editor. To get there, type in slash LP editor in-game. These tabs here show the groups and users and this table here will show you the permissions as well as things like prefixes and suffixes. With this method, it's a lot easier to set everything up and manage the plugin. Let's say you want to remove a prefix from the default group, just delete it right here. Maybe you want to add another permission to the members group, let's give them access to check their balance. Write the node here and change any of the settings you want and then click the plus sign. 
Now, I also want members to inherit the permissions from the default group. Remember, the default group has the fly permission, and that's what I want the member group to have also. But I don't need to type it all in again. All you have to do is just make sure that the group inherits the previous one. It's really simple, just type in group, default and now all users in the members group will have access to everything the default group has access to such as the fly command of course to see the changes in game i have to make sure that i'm in the members group so i'll do that by going over here to my username and changing this settings like so now i should be in the members group make sure to save and copy the command Go into game and paste it in. You'll get notified of the changes that have been made. And as you can see, when I type in slash balance, I can do that since I have the permission. I can also use the fly command since I've inherited all the permissions from the default group. And as you can see, when I type in chat, my prefix has been updated. One thing to note is that if you change something in game with commands, make sure to open a new web editor so it doesn't override what you've done in game. This is very important and causes a lot of issues for some users. Apart from that, this has been an overview of LuckPerms plugin. I hope it was helpful. If you have any suggestions on what else to cover in this plugin, leave it down in the comments below, as well as any other plugin suggestions that you have. As always, if you're having issues, check the plugin page first or contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.